protests picking up in India for a fifth straight day over a new citizenship law that's based on religion and seen by many as anti-Muslim. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi calling for calm Monday, saying violent unrest over the recently passed Citizenship Amendment Act is unfortunate and deeply distressing. Under the law passed last week, religious minorities such as Hindus and Christians in neighboring Muslim-majority Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan, who settled in India before 2015, will have eligibility for Indian citizenship on the grounds they face persecution in those countries. Critics say the law, which does not make the same provision for Muslims, weakens India's secular foundations. And anger growing further over allegations of police brutality at a historic Muslim university in New Delhi after officers entered the campus over the weekend firing tear gas to break up a protest. At least 100 people were hurt. Police say protesters burned vehicles and pelted officers with stones. On Sunday, Modi said the decision to pass the act was 1,000 percent correct. In a series of tweets Monday, he posted in part, this act illustrates India's centuries-old culture of acceptance, harmony, compassion and brotherhood. And we're hearing from Amnesty International saying students have the right to protest peacefully. And they go on to say that as protests spread to campuses in India, we urge Indian authorities to respect the right to dissent by peaceful protesters. And there's a travel update coming from the Canadian government over demonstrations and violent clashes in several cities across India. Visitors are advised to avoid demonstrations and monitor media for information on affected areas. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.